Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to upgrade your Samsung Galaxy Grand Duos to the latest OS that is Android 5 better known as Lollipop. So to do the steps, the first and most mandatory thing is that you need to have your Samsung Galaxy Grand Duos rooted. If you have not rooted your phone, please subscribe to my channel and search or browse through the videos you will find a video to root your Samsung Galaxy Grand Duos without deleting a single file or just for reference in the description maybe I'll give, uh, give the link below also now uh, after that the main thing that you need to have if I show you in my desktop there are four files one is a recovery file if you have rooted your phone you do not need, uh, need this particular file because you will already have your CWM uh, the custom CWM installed or flashed uh, in your Samsung Galaxy Grand device and apart from the, that, the three most important files are the GAFs, the updated Super SU version 2.16 which is required for Lollipop and of course the custom ROM by Cyanogen mode. Okay, uh, now before uh, doing anything else, what I need to make sure is that I copy and paste this custom ROM, the GAFs file and the updated Super SU version 2.16 into the external SD card of my phone. So to do that particular step, what I need to do is that I need to plug in the data cable of the phone and connect it to my PC or to my laptop. Now once it's done, here it says SD card, that is external source code uh, actually. So here you will find I've already copied and pasted the three files, that is the custom ROM file, the GAPS file and the updated Super SU version 2.16. Okay, now since my handset is already rooted, so I'll not flash uh, uh, the CWM to go to the um, uh, with Odin and do stuff like that you can refer to my uh, routing video to do that particular step so already I have this custom CWM with me so straightforward what I'll do is that I'll just press the volume up key the home button key and the power key button and make sure you, plug, you just plug off this particular data cable for now okay let me go, go ahead and press the volume up key the home key and the power key button and keep on holding them till the screen goes blank and you are into the CWM of your phone see you over here now uh, you can either navigate uh, using the volume down key and, the, uh, and all or else in this clockwork recovery version 6.0.2.8 uh, the touch also works over there okay before anything else what I need to make sure is that I need to go and select wipe data or factory set so I'm just going ahead and selecting that and again I'm navigating to no yes delete all user data so I'm just going ahead and selecting all deleting all user data at the bottom it will show you the status also the wiping data formatting data okay after that uh, I need to go to wipe cache partition and select to, to wipe the cache partition also yes wipe cache okay now once the cache partition is, is completed I'll go to advanced and over here it says wipe Dalvi cache so I'll go ahead and go uh, wipe the Dalvi ca cache also okay Dal Dalvi cache wiped so it's done now uh, comes the main part so I'll just go back and here it says uh, install zip from SD card so I'll go ahead and select that and after that choose zip from SD card over here and at first uh, make sure that you go ahead and install the custom ROM that is this particular file same 12215 unofficial on uh, i9082 this particular file go ahead and install that so at the bottom it says installing update you will also find a progress bar appearing over here you need to give it some time this progress bar will, uh, will uh, go ahead and it, it shows the completion rate also see the progress bar is going on okay uh, at the bottom it says I uh, install from SD card completed okay after that again I'll go to choose zip from SD card and now I'll go ahead and install the gaps file okay here it is the gaps sign.zip so I'll go ahead and install the gaps file again the progress bar is there and showing the progress and installing files at the bottom okay install from SD card complete again uh, the last installation is left of the super SU so I'm going to zip for choose zip from SD card and navigating to update super SU version 2.1.6 zip so I'm going ahead and installing that particular thing also again it's showing the status and it says install from SD card complete so now uh, once the full installation is completed what you need to do is that again you need to go ahead and just wipe the data and factory set 
Uh, yes, delete all user data. Okay, data wipe complete. And again, I'll go to wipe cache partition. Yes, wipe cache. And of course, again, go to advanced and wipe the Dalvi cache. Yes, wipe Dalvi cache. Okay, it's done. Now go back and select re reset system now. Now it says ROM may flash the stock memory on this cannot be undone. So uh, oh, there are two processes you can go at disable or select no. Or the best process that I will uh, guide you is that just go ahead and pull off the back of the phone and you just pull off the battery and wait for five seconds just like that. Okay, after that, again go ahead and put on the battery and just manually switch on your phone right now. Okay, the logo appears. Let go of that button. Uh, yeah, the cyanogen mode appears. Now, uh, uh, let me tell you that it may take time up to five minutes to come to the uh, setup a screen of your phone. I may crop the video in between just to save the time but you just need to sit back and relax sit tight till the setup screen comes I'll show you what to do next okay now after the long wait for five minutes the setup screen comes I guess by now you all are very well uh, quite aware that how to do the setup of uh, your Android device so I just go ahead and show you just for uh, reference sake just go ahead and select United States so just like that okay searching for Wi-Fi yeah it's got my Wi-Fi I'll just need to keep the password just wait for some time okay now after that it's just connecting and checking uh, for the software update now here you need to give your uh, gmail or the google account and the password and do such like that I'll just give me a moment I'll just go ahead and do that okay after given the uh, email id and the password it's just checking the info just verifying whether the access is correct or not okay it says set up payment info uh, maybe I'll do that later. Remind me later. Next. Get your apps and data restored. Now it's a very good feature. Since your last backup that you have done, uh, it can actually retrieve the apps and data that used to be there. So you do not have to install and uh, do everything right from the scratch. It will get everything else from the backup. So it's a very good feature. You can go ahead and restore from the backup or also set up as a new one. But I'll go ahead and set up from the backup that I've done. So just hit next over here and uh, blah 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 stuff like that more and more and just hit next. Now restoring. It will take some time of course depending upon the uh, amount of data the apps that I used to have. So give that particular time and after the restoration is completed I'll, it will go to the main screen. I'll show you what to do next. Okay now the main screen comes after the long wait. Now it says welcome uh, widgets and settings. Got it. So just go ahead and settle like that. Let me go to settings, and after that, just at the bottom, now we get to about phone and Android version. See, it says lollipop. So you can change the lollipop, the stuff like that. You can just hold it, and they have done a simple. Okay, it's a game about lollipop. So it's, this ensures that your phone has been successfully upgraded to Android 5.0 that is Android Lollipop and of course before proceeding just see the description below I have listed the points that are working and the points that are not working uh, using this custom ROM and the gaps of Lollipop so just make sure that you are 100 or so as to see a 200 percent sure and then proceed with the steps if there are uh, if there is anything that you get stuck please feel free to go, um, go and hit the co comments button button below I, I I will be much more obliged to answer to your queries but before anything else just do not break your device uh, follow the steps very precisely even a single mistake can break your device so it's your responsibility on the day and be 2000 percent sure before proceeding to do all the steps Okay guys, just like the video for now. It does help the channel, gives a thumb, give a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. I'll come with more interesting updates very soon. Bye for now.